Hi everyone, I'm your host Ujwal and I welcome you on my channel. You're watching Ujwal Discussion and this time I'm back with my students. On my extreme right, um, he's Ronnie and uh, right beside me, who is sitting next to me, he's Raja. It is uh, Ronnie's debut on my channel and uh, Raja's, I don't know, uh, Raja is here for, I don't know, maybe four, five, six times. Uh, so you you may figure it out. Uh, Raja's videos are there in the description. Check it out. All right. So I have a lot of important questions for both of you guys. I always say spoken English is all about confidence with wrong uh, grammar or like you ha don't have to worry about grammar uh, as long as you have the propensity or intention to speak english and you know uh, how our class is right so we do a crazy stuff so like we, we, we like we insult each other in english and nobody nobody minds anything right uh, we meet here we speak a lot of english so raja my question for you aka ovik my question is that we talk a lot about environment when it comes to speaking or learning English. How much does environment matter when it comes to speaking English? Uh, it matters a lot because uh, you need an inspiration or you need a role model. If you want to learn anything, if you want to become a doctor, so you need an inspiration or, or you need a role model in your life. So you, uh, if, you, uh, if you want to learn English, so you also need an inspiration because uh, I have a, a fellow in my spoken English class and she speaks very good English. She speaks very good English. So, uh, and I, I try to understand that what did she do? Hmm. What did she do to uh, speak better English? Hmm. And what I am, uh, what I make mistake? What where I mis make make mis sorry brother, where I make mistake, right? So and uh, a couple of uh, days after, I I have understood that. Now I have understood that uh, she has uh, she has a ins uh, she has a beautiful role model. Mm. Like I talk about Tuli mm. means uh, mm. Shubhadra. Mm. She has been uh, inspired by his uh, her sister, Absolutely. right? Yep. And I I don't have any inspire any role model or any inspiration in my home. So mm. my environment is a little bit awkward or weird uh, when it comes to speaking English. So mm. I but 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 you still speak better English. So what's the secret? Yeah, so you so when when you do not have any environment, so you have to create an environment mm. because you are hungry for learning English. Absolutely. So if you want to learn English, you are hungry for it. So if you have to make an environment, you in front of camera, in front of any. I have a cat, and I uh, speak in front of cat. So I, I speak in front of camera, I speak in front of mirror mm. and I look my uh, expression, I look my voice, I look my accent, body style, speaking, uh, ac you know, a style of uh, the words, the sentence, the cadence of the words, right? The pronunciation. So everything you, ne you need to uh, take care of. So um, yes, Raja, uh, like environment matters a lot, yeah. uh, matters a lot, like environment plays a very important role when it comes to learning and speaking English. Uh, people often complain that nobody speaks English at home. How can I start speaking? I always ask my students, like I have asked both of you many times to practice English. You must have thought, oh, nobody is there whom I can have a conversation with. Nobody speaks English at home. Sometimes it sounds like an excuse, but it's a truth. It's the fact that yes, nobody is there who, whom I can have a conversation with. So my question to you, Ronnie, is it really an excuse when an English learner is saying that I have nobody to have a conversation with at home? How can I do it? But you people have proved this thing wrong. You people, both Raja and you, have practiced enormously and you have changed your version. So I want to know, Ronnie, Please, because this thing is going to be interesting. Guys, you are watching this video. I want you to pay attention on Ronnie's version of uh, whatever she he's going to say. Because he's basically going to talk about the kind of practice that he does every day. Okay? The kind of practice you do, Ronnie. I think this kind of 
idea is going to directly help all the viewers watching this video right now. All right, so how do you practice and what has changed your English version? Okay, it's a, such a nice question uh, and it's absolutely practice is important for learning any skill learning especially spoken english and it's a very important things mm -hmm. and i also think that uh, if you if you really want to uh, speak english in your own and i think that you have to create your zone mm -hmm. and uh, you, nobody can help you to create your zone i think for that reason is uh, spoke uh, you create a zone mm -hmm. and you know when you want to uh, want to speak uh, english and practice english this time you don't uh, need to uh, you don't need to do anything i think you you will find you you can find your own partner mm. to speak english mm. and always you try uh, don't, and i think you know you if you have, if you have hungry this speak hungry then you can find the hungry person oh. who is like to speak like you uh, like you and i th for that reason i think that you you find this for those person who can um, who can uh, uh, speak English and practice with your with your own you with your self mm -hmm. and for that reason we for that reason we can create a group and we there are some people in there and they are very uh, hungry to speak English and uh, and uh, for that reason we can we can practice daily and I and we are very um, we we discuss a lot of things there because you know discuss uh, conversation is most important to uh, learning speak English and for that reason uh, you don't have any we you don't do have any enough conversation you you feel lot of obstacle in your you face lot of obstacle in your life yes. and uh, I think that is an, and I basically I say that if I practice uh, with myself in a in the in front of mirror as i said also mm -hmm. in front of mirror when you practice in front of mirror this time you you see your expression you feel, you see your body language and that is very important because when you speak anything in front of people they don't uh, notice your uh, fluency they notice your body language their your expression and that is that's matter and you and confidence is very really matter and you conf you, you speak confidently and they yeah, when you mistake anything, they don't re find your mistake. Ah. And I think that is a confident and practice is important to speak confidently. Yes, Ronnie, you are right. And you said it so well. I'm so happy that you have said a lot of things. Uh, one thing that you mentioned, you said that you have to have some hunger for learning English. And if you have that hunger, you automatically find and a, a hungry person who is also uh, hungry to uh, practice English and that's why you people have made a group um, Ronnie and some other fellows they uh, practice English every day at night like from 10 30 sometimes I join but these days I'm taking care of my sleep and that's why I'm not joining but uh, oh, okay I have two more questions for both of you one question for Raja Raja we talk about fluency now you are a prime example. I have scolded you many times. I pull your legs every day. I make a lot of fun of you. But you are such an uh, individual or such a shameless guy who never uh, cares about all these stuff that I say. You only mind your business and that's speaking English. You look for your opportunity. So let's talk about fluency part. Like whenever you get opportunity, you don't let others speak. You keep speaking for for minutes, sometimes for hours. I'm exaggerating. So Raja has the kind of tendency to speak English and he doesn't stop. He keeps on speaking and he's very serious. Like uh, we were studying two words like immeasurable and in, inexhaustible. Um, Raja has inexhaustible energy uh, when it comes to speaking english if you don't know this word you can see the meaning on your screen right now oxford meaning write it down take a screenshot okay and immeasurable that you cannot measure it is also a very important word you can use this word you can see the meaning on your screen just take a screenshot shot of it for your future use so raja my question to you is this um that people are pretty worried about fluency but they have no clue they think fluency meaning fast speaking. That I'm speaking, nobody's able to understand me. Fast, like like bullet train. It is not fluency. You have heard AJ Hogue 
so many other people online aj hog was your like uh, breakfast menu lunch menu dinner menu for uh, improving your spoken english um you have also heard uh, me talking about fluency uh, so i just want to know that what have you learned about fluency and what misconceptions people have about fluency yeah so what uh, i did to increase my fluency or to work on my fluency so uh, i would like to share with you guys so uh, it's a um, pay attention on other performance mm. when you uh, you know in front of others people and they speak english uh, it it could be your friend it could be your trainer it could be anyone in youtube facebook and whatever so um, you you just pay attention on his or her performance or wow. his or her speaking wow. so it's not about fast uh mm. just you told that uh it's not about fast it it's about the like fluency it's not about the speed yeah it's uh, it's about the effort uh, you speak effortlessly smoothly mm. easily mm. and mm. it's flawlessly mm. Mean, mm. meaning that uh aj hawk taught me uh what is the meaning of fluency mm. fluency mean when the river the water flow uh, smoothly easily right very smooth like it's not a tsunami yeah it's not a tsunami uh, water flow very effortlessly, effortlessly. so you, you speak effortlessly mm. smoothly mm. easily mm. the yeah. words the sentences the structure everything uh, the also grammar uh, so it, it when uh, just uh, speak uh, in your mouth uh, smoothly right effortlessly so it's called fluency wow brilliantly explained uh, i'm i'm really indebted to you for the answer that you just given raja guys you have been listening to this video until this point thank you very much and congratulations because if you are an spoken english learner listening this one like your ear or ears for that matter should be very strong like if your listening is active like very powerful then you are going to be fluent in english very soon so what raja has just said if you simply follow this thing raja has just said that um raja said one thing he said the misconception we have about fluency is that you have to be like bullet train speed what is fluency speed it's a wrong conception Fluency is not speed. Fluency is effort, effortlessness. Fluency is smoothness. Fluency is flawlessness. Right, Raja? Yeah. So for that reason, don't worry about your fluency because once you are able to speak your heart out, whatever you are feeling, you are able to express those those thoughts. That's that's called fluency. Another version of fluency I would like to hear from Ronnie because Ronnie has been speaking English and actively speaking English. This man is amazing. He calls me every day, SMSs me every day to know about different words and sentences. Like sometimes I am wondering or I'm just wasting my time and suddenly I get get his SMS on it. It's time to study, man. Somebody is studying on the other side, so you have to study. So he's responsible for uh, my growth to a certain extent. So let's. hear him uh, roni what's your definition about fluency okay it's a, such a nice question uh, because fluency is most important doesn't matter in the speaking english and you know i first time when i was speaking english this time i i have a fluency mm. but uh, suddenly uh, some days ago you said that you have fluency you have no problem about fluency yeah. for that reason you don't worry about fluency you worry you you, you you be careful your grammar you careful your sentence structure accuracy, accuracy. and for that is then i focus on my accuracy and uh, uh, also and focus on my grammar and i nowadays i read i was i all how i revise all the grammar section nowadays and uh, i under, i i have understood one thing that is that fluency is uh, when you speak english in uh, slowly and that time you have uh, automatically fluency comes in with your speaking mm -hmm. and uh, for that reason you don't worry about fluency if it, uh, you you if you think that i have no fluency what i am saying mm -hmm. and uh, I, i i i don't speak effortless english mm -hmm. for that reason you don't worry about this kind of you have this problem don't worry mm -hmm. you just speak and uh, you have automatically comes fluency in your Absolutely. speak and uh, that's my definition about fluency wow wow brilliant answer brilliant answer nothing can get better than what raja and roni have just said guys one thing about fluency i have made bunch of videos on fluency uh, i i hope i have been able to be useful to you but today what raja and roni 
they have just said things that are very current and it's coming from practitioners guys they practice every day it's not like somebody i've just picked up from a convent school english medium school this fellow and this fellow went to bengali medium schools and we are from west bengal the rest the rest of the thing you can uh, analyze on internet um, so um, yes we are we are from we are from bengali medium we three are from bengali mediums our education about english was fantastic all right so uh, now today um, i've got an opportunity to talk to you people all right take your bites so i won't let you go so easily all right so last question but this question is going to be interesting because now i want to know about future not your but english's i want to know what future planning are you uh, are you making for your spoken english you have learned enough english you can speak fluent english you can get any job right now but you are still hungry your eyes are like that right your eyes show that you still have a lot of hunger right so i just want to know that what's your future plan for spoken english look uh, i don't want to be a average speaker i i want to become a two person speaker in this world that exist so yeah, so that's my goal mm. so you have to have big goal in your life you want to beat me yeah uh, so yeah and you have to have a very good role model like him so <laughs> you have to have so exaggerate this is a scripted part like yeah it is not scripted by the way yeah so so uh, look when uh, you know you you think you learn everything but not there are so many thing you 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 know you don't learn uh, until uh, until now mm. right mm. so you haven't learned until now mm. right so there are so many thing you need to learn Absolutely. right and i want to become a fluent speaker a uh, uh, fluent speaker uh, i speak english fluently with american accent british mm. accent right i want to become a just native speaker oh my god that's his role like i don't want to listen to him anymore because sometimes i doubt my own practice mm -hmm. because when i look at raja and listen to his um, like uh, version of how he is practicing and the kind of english he speaks i feel so insecure really like this guy is uh, just breaking all his past records thank you so much and uh, ronnie future plan about your english you said in nice thing that day when we were coming um, coming back from our class uh, in the bus you you were saying sir i have to do something in this year like i want to learn i'll get a job um, and i i told you that getting a job is just a this thing for you you just have to uh, focus on your learning because you deserve more than what you think you you can so um i i want to know what's your future plan it's a if i talk about my future plan now uh, it's a, it's a, i have to learn more and more english uh, also raja said that uh, i have to improve my uh, pronunciation and i have to improve my grammar uh, if i uh, anybody talks with uh, in front of me then i if if he if he say anything wrong then i suddenly understand mm -hmm. i i need to this kind of ability and uh, for that reason i learned more and more english and i also when i every day came here and i see lot of books in in in, in your bookshelf and for that reason i read more and more books to in now mm. now this year and uh, i finished uh, uh, and now i close i decrease my bengali reading and i increase my english reading and for that reason i i see lot uh, some growth in my fluency and uh, for that reason i think Uh, this is my future plan to read more and more books mm -hmm. um, absolutely what ronnie said he was so excited that's why he just uh, jumbled with the words but he was basically saying that uh, he will die without reading a lot of books <laughs> right because he cannot read all the books available in the world in his one lifetime he needs many All right. Thank you so much everybody. And thank you so much Raja and Ronnie for coming to this uh, particular video and I'm I'm so indebted 
to both of you for whatever the versions you have just said and guys hope you find this video useful if you do make sure you hit the like button subscribe to this channel for this kind of video in future and i upload videos on my uh, channel uh, every now and then but uh, yeah i had been inconsistent for a while i apologize for that but if you find this video useful share this video with your friends on whatsapp till then you take care i'll see you on the other side bye